with me, if you're Yegbule, uh, in the studio. And sadly, we'll be talking about this uh, shortly. If he is good to have you join me on the set. Thank you for having <laughs> me to talk about this. This is one matter that has been on my personal front burner for mm. a long time. On and everyone's keep, burner, I must I, say. I keep going, maybe because I have an NGO that, you know, caters to issues that have to do with women. Mm. I'm looking at that video and this is someone, let's even forget that she's pregnant. You have a wife at home and you're hitting a woman repeatedly. I will sue if I wear in that woman's shoes. If I wear in her shoes, I will sue. I'll find someone who will take the case up and sue. How can you justify what it is that you did? I'm not interested in whatever shop they said he was found in or where that happened. I found that Nigerians are talking about it. He was in a toy, a sex toy shop. Mm. It doesn't mean anything. No, it, it shouldn't really matter. That, 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 that's his this. own private uh, That's his private life. life. And there's no big deal about that. But let's look at it. This is a young man. I hear he's in his early 40s. 41. And we're talking about the not too young to run. <laughs> and you're hitting a woman and you're saying to her, you're going to know who I am today and all of that. No, I think that man should be recalled. His people should set in motion. I'm not interested in what anybody thinks because of the apology that he has actually rendered. But I think some processes need to be put in place. Teach him a lesson. Even if he's going to be suspended for a while. Well, I think he, that he, has really issued, he has issued an apology. He, he called a, a press conference and uh, issued an apology to his, his family, to Nigerians, to his party, to uh, the, the woman and their family and all of that. How, how, how far has that... How and how we, far should, that we should just let that be? Apology? You just apologize and that's it. And that's why people are going to see Nigeria that we're such a joke. Something happens, then you come out, you apologize, mm. that's it. Someone kills someone. Okay, what if something goes wrong with the baby she's carrying? What if something happens? No, I think the man needs to face mm. the music. Well, the, the Senate has set up a committee to investigate. Uh, and what they, are you they're, investigating? They're or someone to... just asked this morning. Well, is it, The it, video is out there. Yeah, but the point there is, whatever it is, the, the man, if you listen to the press conference, mm. there were some things he said happened he, which he wouldn't want to go because... From his perspective, it seemed it doesn't, he, he has realized it doesn't justify, no matter how angry he was, he it didn't, didn't justify. Raise your but, hands. but the point there is, he was talking about some things that led to what he, which he wouldn't want to uh, talk about right now. Well, Mike, why but you look at the it? police is also investigating the whole the issue mm. now. So the point there is, you, you listen to all sides and then, but you had and a then determine. You had a policeman uh, there. Exactly. There was a, police, a policeman. Exactly. So, so that sh shouldn't have formed part of the investigation so that the right and appropriate sanctions can be meted out. Yes. When you look at it. There was a policeman there and he calls to mind the question, uh, when you say the police is your friend, how mm. can the police be your friend? That <laughs> man is supposed to mediate. But you were saying to the man, take her away, take her away. She's not a criminal. What could she have done? No matter what she did, it didn't amount to you raising a finger mm. at that woman. Mm. I remember arguing with someone. I was going to dive and dredge. I had a colleague with me. He did something wrong to me in class and we're arguing. And there was a young lady sitting beside us. She was looking at us. The next thing I'm sure she was going to pick up her phone and maybe call 911 <laughs> or something. I don't understand what these people are talking about. We're raising our voice as it is. But we had to, you know, yeah, but, readjust. But I, I guess that brings to the fore the, the reality of the fact that Nigerians are beginning to become more aware of some of these things. Yes, because, because something happens, a, a everyone a is a on the street. A decade ago, this wouldn't have meant anything. They would yes. say it's a personal issue. But yes, it's no longer that way. People need to also understand that the okay. internet... It's has come now, to stay. Yes, it's come to stay. It's a place <laughs> we, where your we, we matter to, gets to the yeah, internet. We, we, ha we have to leave it here now. It. Ify, thank you so much for coming on thank the program. Thank you for having you. me. Thank, thank you. you. Well, Ify Onyegbule joins me now for discussion on this issue. Ify, <laughs> I know how passionate you are about uh, um, women issues and all of that, but then he has apologized. He was even in tears while making that apology. But then the question is, is that enough? If I want something from you, I can do anything. I can go on my knees. I can beg. I'm sure he had seen. I'm sure he had seen what, or he has an idea what could happen if that woman decides to press, you know, charges, charges against him. But for me, what I would say is, I think I would still want him to pay the price for what is done, so that that will be some kind of deterrent to some other person who wants to go through that. But let's stop hammering on, on that. Yes, he's apologized. Let's look at it. We keep shouting and screaming. Give the young people a chance. Mm. Give the young people a chance. Look at one, two, three, four, five persons. That's who the have question been that has been on the lips of many. Categorized in that area. Not too young to not run. Not too young to run. 
because I looked at it, is it that there is no one else who would have taken that position from that area where he's but from? But his people, these are the voices of the people. Uh, that's what we think, that it's the voices of the people. What if he was anointed? I've seen his photograph with a particular politician and they say, Absolutely. look, he is, you know, the boy of this politician. Then you look at it. Why do we have to throw up people who cannot control themselves in public? Which means if your wife does something, you can actually, I think people need to go to talk to that woman behind and find out what she truly goes through. Well, that, that will be his, his personal issue, so mm. to speak. But then, you look at, if you see the reaction that has trailed the issues that have come up over the week, you yes. know, about the COSA issue, and <laughs> now um, the senators issued Elisha Abu, um, the reaction from Nigerians, what is it saying, or what does he speak of how Nigerians are beginning? There seems to be some sort of revolution, isn't yes, it? Yes, it says to us now that... Um, whether you like it or not, your life is right there on social media. Things happen now. All you need to do is just send a tweet or put up something on any of the platforms and it's out there. And people don't need to know who you are before they step out on the streets and protest for you. So I think it's a wonderful idea. And I think Nigerians are beginning to understand the kind of powers that they wield. Remember, they had right. to shout and scream about Ruga. Yeah. They had to shout and scream about Koza. They're shouting and, and screaming about, they call them the, uh, the slapping senator, right. as it were. <laughs> but I'm hoping that something, something positive comes out of Thank this. Thank you, Ifi Onyekbele, for your comments on, on this issue. Thank, Thank you. you. If you really joins me now to talk about this. Now, if he's good to have you join me right now. Well, the, thank you for the having me. Fellow you. party man Reno Mokri, a, a former aide to former president, uh, good luck, Jonathan, has called on Senator uh, uh, Elisha uh, Abu to Abu. go for anger management. You, you think that is uh, one way to go about this? Yes, that's a very good advice, uh, if you ask me. Of course, he's apologized. Someone actually sent me a message. I'm sure the person was watching and said, if he, you become so hard, you're so hard on the man. You know, um, I don't want to be too hard on him, but this is a very good advice. In Nigeria here, we don't like to agree that we have problems. When you have a problem, find this, look for the solution. And one of it is, you know, going for the anger management, you know, sessions. Uh, let someone talk to you because it is not ordinary that a man gets angry like that and starts to hit at someone, let alone a woman who's pregnant. Anything could have gone wrong. And uh, what if that woman, not everyone who's walking on their two legs are truly healthy. Mm. What if she fell to the ground and died from All there? Right. That, that becomes another, another, issue another issue altogether. Altogether. So I think the man should go for anger management classes and of course, you know, uh, purge himself of whatever it is that he's going Someone, through. So some analysts were saying yesterday that uh, it brings to the reality of the fact that when you give give some hallowed offices to people who are too young that sometimes they are not able to at 41 he, the, the person was seeing it from the perspective of the fact that the senate mm. not just being a political office it, people who should occupy the office or, or become senators are people who should be who should have some level of maturity maturity in age, in experience pedigree and all of that. Yeah. experience you, you, you exposure think, you, think, you think his the i age, agree is a thing here and sometimes you look at it age is just a number mm -hmm. it's not about the number there yes. are so, there are so many 35 year olds who are very mature, mature exactly. they're all over the mm. place there are so many 35 year olds who have gone very far when you talk about academics there are so many 35 year olds who have managed people resources and organizations but not just speaking somewhere because he's from a particular place and that's why we also need to look at that issue of quota system because this person is from here you pick that person, that's the person to go. Settlements, anointing of people who will go to a place like the Senate. The Senate has just become a joke with this. So I'm, I'm looking at it now because that man is now in the eye of mm. the world. Everyone's going to be and watching. people are going to be watching what and looking out What are you going to do yeah. in that chamber mm. as it is? So I think this should teach us a lesson. It's not about how old you are. It's about how mature and ready mm. that you are to Th take This also position. points to the fact that sometimes in the Senate, We've seen a rowdy session in the Senate where there are fisticuffs. Even in uh, at the House of Reps yesterday, it was something almost close to that, but the, it was uh, handled. Mm -hmm. When it comes to people's approach to some of these things, when you, you're debating on the floor of the House because the other person takes an opinion or a perspective that is different from yours, mm -hmm. you take it personal. 
Um, but you know, this is not the only place <laughs> where people fight. Oh, yeah. People fight in other places mm. across the world. But I think self-censorship should come in here. Okay. You should know how to manage your temper. You can say what you want to say without throwing chairs. Now the chairs are actually, you know, screwed yeah. to the ground. Mm -hmm. you know, you so the mace is the next target. Yes, they're, that, they're trying to, maybe they it. might have to uh, seal the mace and also maybe. stick it to the... <laughs> that's not possible. It's not possible. If you, if you, thank you very much for coming. Thank you for program. having thank me. You.